Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. In this chapter, we're going to focus on the initial configuration that must be done after the installation. Once the call manager server has been installed and you have the access to the web page, the next step is to configure the call manager with the proper settings so before an IP phone is registered. Because when the IP phone is registered, it will pull down configurations from the TFTP server that, can, that require certain settings in order for the proper communication to work. The initial configuration involves in changing the NTP servers, DHCP service, whether you want to assign DA call manager as a DHCP server, uh, whether to use DNS, name resolutions from the IP phone perspective, activating services, uh, the necessary service that requires for the functionality of the server, uh, changing the enterprise parameters which will ensure that the IP phone can communicate with various parameters, and of course changing service parameters when is required. In Call Manager, there are two types of services you have, a network services and feature service. Network services are services related to the system functionality, such as the database, platform services, such as DHCP, directory services, example. Feature services, on the other hand, are related to call processing, such as Call Manager, uh, call TFTP, processing, serviceability report, extension mobility, uh, web access, uh, Excel server access, and so and so. These services can be started. Active. These services must be activated prior to uh, configuring the call manager. Now, you can act start, start, stop a service whenever required for very uh, because it's hanged or you may just need to reboot them. You have the option to do so. So to be able to do that, first identify what services you want to activate. Or, uh, sorry, start and stop, and then go to the appropriate configuration menu. To activate the service, you want to go Cisco Unified Serviceability web page. Serviceability web page, once you go to the Tools menu and then select Service Activation. Now, by doing so, you will list. You will need to select the servers that you want to activate the service, and then decide what services you get. We want to activate. Now, here I have activated all of them, which is okay for lab, but not okay for production. So let's assume you want this call manager server to act as call processing device. So at minimum, you need the call manager and the TFTP. If this server was acting as just a media server, such as music on hold, then you do not need to activate the call manager. Rather, you want to activate the Cisco IP voice media streaming app. So this will ensure that uh, uh, the, the, this server is acting as non-call processing so node. Once you activate the service, 